and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexis Loren. I make lifestyle and planning content for you to help you live pretty and productive. I am so, so happy to get into today's video. I thought I would do a little overview of my planner collection. Um, so I'm going to start with personal size binders, move on to the 1A6 binder that I have, and then the load of pocket planners I have because, as you guys know, it's my favorite size. If you missed that video, I'll link it in the cards. So let's get into it. This is my purple Kiki K um, from 2015. This was the first ever binder that I ever bought, purchased, had in my possession. I probably won't ever sell it. Um, but it's not as much my style as it was in the past. Um, I still have like my eighth grade ID card in there, which I'm not going to take out. Um, and then I have some inserts. Um, and this is how I used to plan back in the day, which is so, so interesting to me. Um, but yeah. And then I had some notes pages and my old like weekly calendar. Um, and I joined the planning community when I was in 8th grade, I want to say. Um, my first ever website launched, um, but yeah, 2015. I bought this, I think, in December of 2014, um, but that is when I was officially in the community, but I wasn't sharing or posting on Instagram nearly as much as I am at this current moment. Um, you know, and I just have some notes and things, and it's funny to, like, look back at my goals, and, um, I made all these dividers, and, you know, it's just funny to see how far I've come in my style, um, and so that's why I keep this, probably. Um, and it's still in pretty good condition for it being older. Um, and now moving on to this Kiki K, this, I think, came out in 2017. Um, it has gold rings. Um, it's great. I loved it when I was in it. It's just personal has not been my size in the past. Um, but I am looking forward to maybe using, um, it for this upcoming fall just because I'll be remotely learning and I think it would be good to keep, like, some basic, like, notes or flashcards in here, um, in a personal size binder because it's just a little bit easier than A5. But I am really looking forward to when Moterm releases their A5, so that so maybe I might switch over to the A5. And then this is a Recollections binder. I believe this came out in 2017. I just have some Erin Condren compliment cards from when I bought an Erin Condren. Um, I never, I think I opened it once and then it sat in my on my desk. Um, so yeah, so that's just that. And then this is my. Kate Spade binder. I think this is from 2018. I don't know. My mom got it for me. Um, she went out shopping and she saw it and she was like, oh, you need that. So I just have some content cards that I need, um, which I don't currently sell. Um, my tabs, my content cards, or my dividers, maybe in the future. Um, but this just has it's just a bigger version of my pocket size right now, and it just has sort of the tons of note pages that I've collected over the years from Kiki K and random other shops. And I'm just trying to, like I said, use this as a notebook. I might just use my pocket size um, because it's more portable. Um, but there is something about personal that's really intriguing. Um, and it was my first ever size in the community, so I think that's why... I'm a little bit attached to it, um, but it is a really pretty binder and I've been loving using it. Um, so moving on to A6, this is a print impression A6 with a bow, I think it's the Scribble Prints bow embossing in silver foil. It is white, I don't know how true it's showing up on color. Um, but yeah, and I'm just, it's a bigger version of the pocket, basically. Um, the dividers are pretty much the same. Um, and then I just have some Thrive on Plans, SM Plans, and Peanuts Planner Co. freebies. 
Um, I was intending to use this also as a notebook, so I don't really know how I feel about that, but I might be useful in moving forward. So I think it's going to probably have a home, at least in my collection for right now. And moving on to the pockets, this was my first pocket size. It's a clear ring binder when these were all the rage um, for the clear planner trend. I don't know if that's still going on, um, but it just has some Filofax inserts from my Filofax Finsbury, which you guys most likely have seen in a couple of my videos. Um, but yeah, just some inserts that I haven't gotten around to utilizing, and it's it picks up dirt really easily, so that's the only reason probably why I'm not in it or didn't stay in it as long. It does, also doesn't have any pockets for like keeping my debit card and other things that I might want to have on the go, so it didn't really work out for me, but it, I think it's perfect for like a beginner or somebody looking at pocket size um, just to get a feel for it. So moving on to pocket size, this is a pocket by Lafax Finsbury in the color black. This was my first like real um, pocket size binder um, that I had I think in 2017 or like the tail end of 2017 um, and it's just housing my I made these tabs for like each month of the year to match the tabs in my other binder um, and so I just have like my weekly and daily pages for every month and I've just been keeping up with them due to quarantine I haven't been um, you know, I sort of fell off the bandwagon, sort of in May, April, um, in July, but I've been sort of steadily picking it up in August, um, and sharing with all of you. So that is all that's pretty much in this binder. Moving on to the next pocket size that I got was actually these two from Amazon. They were the first ever Mo terms that I bought. Um, that I saw in somebody else's video, you can tell it's older because it has the gold snap and the brassy sort of rings. This is a gray crock, which I don't believe they make anymore. Um, I think maybe they're coming out with a black and a white, which I'm so happy to get my hands on the white one when it comes out and put gold rings in it. I think it would be gorgeous um, and similar to the one that Mary Plans has. That I don't think they're making, VDS isn't making that leather anymore, um, but yeah, so I'm just storing 2019 inserts in here, and some no paper, and some bookmarks that I made, and like the first OG concept of my divider um, set, so yeah, so it's a really gorgeous binder. If you haven't had a croc mo term, um, it feels really nice, at least this one does in my hand. Um, just because I've had it for, I think I got this in July of 2019, so I've had it for a while. And I've used it and it's nice and it kind of feels nicer than some of my older ones. Like it's more soft and supple. Um, so yeah, that is that. And then we get into the red croc that I absolutely love. Again, I don't believe they're selling this anymore. Um, but it just has no paper in it and some business cards of folks at school, a pink gift card, I think that's my eyeglasses prescription from like a year ago, and some of, some no pages from my term because they're so generous and give you so many of these and I really haven't found a way to utilize them yet. Um, but this is probably like my top. This is one of my favorites, even though like I'm normally showing blue and gray and black and white. Um, I love this one. It's super duper cute and it's in great condition, so I'm really happy about that. Um, and then moving on, I think I got this one next, which is probably my favorite. If they made the Versa in this leather, I would be super duper happy about that. Um, and I think this was my first setup video. I showed this binder and talked a little bit more about it, but this was on Amazon. I believe they still make this um, in their AliExpress, which I'll link down below. And if I can find it on Amazon, I will link it in my Amazon affiliate link. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. I put 26 millimeter rings in it. 
um, and it's just such a nice leather and such like a me color because um, I love blue I think it's it's really cute and then I think I bought this gray one the litchy gray which was a real seller on Amazon um, and I'm just storing like I said some notepaper in it I normally use my binders as sort of a way to sort of move between different seasons and set different ones up um, but I'm never really into at the same time it's normally just like one planner and then I'll use something else as maybe a notebook or some notes but I always have just one planner which is always pocket size and has been for the last three plus years um, has always been pocket size but yeah this just has some more of those monthly tabs I decided to make a couple of sets just to store my inserts and then I have this brown crock which I was so inspired by people's LVs that I wanted something brown um, so I went and ordered this from Amazon I have not used this um, but I'm hoping to use this in the fall and maybe set it up but then again I ordered the taupe so I don't I don't know um, but it has silver rings um, and it's it's great and I'm excited to maybe share this with you in the fall if I do go ahead and set that up I then have a pink lychee pink this was from I think their first run back in January February um, I knew the color changed a little bit but I'm not too sure on where it stands now um, but yeah it's beautiful just has some um, some note pages in it and I think I was I was using this in February I loved it it was so pretty and I'm really itching to get my hands on a Versa in pink so I might go ahead and order that even though my taupe has already shipped um, just because I've been seeing it on Instagram and it looks delightful um, so yeah that is sort of the pink one and then I have this blue gray one which I absolutely adore it is like the most perfect color and I'm just storing some new paper in it um, and it's working out great for me and yeah. it's a beautiful beautiful color and a beautiful binder it's a little more like firm than my older one my older crocs but once i feel like i use it it'll be good um, but i'm excited to use this um seeing a lot of great pictures in the motown fan group of people using this and on instagram that makes me want to use this um but i really love my versa so I haven't been showing this as much love. I have a white regular original pocket. I think I ordered this like two weeks before the Versa came out. Um, but I did do a comparison of this and the pocket Versa. I'll link it in the cards. Um, but it's it's a gorgeous binder. Like I love it, love it. <laughs> and it's more of like an off white, but it's 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 still really pretty. Then I have this from Print Impression with no sort of embossing or any more detailing. It has 26 millimeter rings, a beautiful pocket. I just have another set of dividers I made and then some grid and blank pages from the term. And I haven't set this up but I think I'm going to use it for my birthday because it's silver and sparkly and And then to get to the final package, I have my Motrum Versus. I have this one in black and also this one in white, um, which has been getting a lot of love. I also ordered this in taupe. And maybe after I film this video, I might go order it in pink because I love it. Um, these are just great. Um, I'm looking forward to doing a one month review coming at you shortly of my dear son, how I'm using it, and what I have in here, and sort of how it's been working out for me, etc. 
Um, and then this is the black one with the original 19 millimeter rings. I have 30 in the white one. And it's got the original flap. They recently updated this, so when my taupe comes, I'll show that off. Um, but yeah, this was an imperfect. To me, it looks great. Um, so yeah, that is all of my planners. I hope this was fun, helpful. Maybe you got to see some more different, more older Motrams um, and sort of see how they wear and tear. I would be honored if you could comment your favorite planner at the moment. Um, I think it's fun that we all have different planners and planning styles, but we're really united in sort of a love for stickers and pens and all of the fun stuff that comes along with being a planner addict. Um, so I will see you in my next video. Until then, happy planning.